after warning, teasing us yesterday, that trailer incoming. What's up y'all, it's Timothy Chalamet. And Zendaya here. And the Dune 2 trailer is out now. Go check it out. Yes ma'am. Timothy Chalamet was running those sand dunes again for Dune Part 2. Timothy posted the trailer on his Instagram and managed to get that Dune-like font. Well done. But the darkest of them all may remain. New cast member Florence Pugh commented on Timothy's post. Congrats my friend. Can't wait to watch you be awesome. Again. X. She's just incredible. She's incredible in Dune. Oh my god, incredible experience. Incredible. Like, I've never had so many crew members come up to me and tell me how amazing their director is and how amazing it is to work with him. I felt very lucky to join that franchise. Uh, working with Zendaya and Florence is, uh, what a treat. I don't believe you. Zendaya, who we're all hoping has more screen time this time around, was on a social media ball. She got the trailer up as a story and as a post. She didn't manage to get that cool Dune font, but she didn't have Jack Black commenting with a simple yes. And she shared some fan art that made her LOL that simplified the Dune look. The real thing is a little more sophisticated and it won six Oscars last year. But Rebecca Ferguson captioned her trailer post, Dune Part 2. Ready? I am going to say that Part 2 is better than Part 1. Your father didn't believe in revenge. That's me saying it without seeing it. That is me saying it based on what I've read, what I've seen, and what I've filmed. Yeah, Josh Brolin doesn't need to see a finished product either, or even a trailer, to know this one's a winner. I just read the second one. It's amazing. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Well, it's going to be, I think, way better than the first one. I don't want to jinx it, but I think people are going to be psyched. It blew me away. I think it's going to be better. The first film was just an introduction to this film, so I think uh, I'm, I'm excited as well. It's a really, really fun, more intimate ride. Dave Batista will have a bigger role this time around. It was the experience of a lifetime. And joining him on that experience is Austin Butler. I loved the first film so much. It was just a cinematic masterpiece. So the idea of getting to be a part of that world is just incredibly exciting. Baz Luhrmann hadn't even started to screen Elvis yet when Denis Villeneuve wanted to have coffee with Austin to discuss playing the role previously played by Sting in the 1984 version. We talked about the, you know, the, the part and how I, I would approach it and that sort of thing. And um, and then he said, you know, I'm going to dream on this. And then, and then he called me a week later and he said, I, I would love for you to join me on Arrakis. And Austin Butler, for that matter too, he did an amazing job. Do you like the look that uh, you arrived at for this character? I, I, I think it's, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be great. After wiping all the images on March 25th, He's back with the Dune trailer as his first and only post. What do you think of the Dune Part 2 trailer? Are you sold? You will never lose me, Paul Atreides.